Join this lightning talk to learn all about the Dante Movement, an innovative new way to introduce facts into fiction. Listen to the creators of the movement share their story and learn how films and series can help accelerate change and spread the word. Welcome everyone to this lightning talk. Its title is Dante Movement, Sustainability with Popcorn. And you might think that sustainability and popcorn have nothing in common, but in fact, they make a lot of sense when you put them together. Popcorn is what you eat when you watch films and series, and they reach massive audiences. And the SDGs need to reach massive audiences in order to be achieved. So could we use films and series to actually convey important information about the 2030 agenda? We tend not to believe what we see in fiction. No doctor would apply a treatment just because House did it, which is probably a good thing, and you shouldn't try to pass an exam by writing down what you saw in your favorite historical movie. But we think there's a way to put facts into fiction. It's called Dante Movement, and we're going to tell you everything about it. My name is Paloma Andres. I am an expert in sustainability and partnerships, and, and this is Dante Movement. <laughs> Hi, my name is Rhoda Nieto Wainwright. I'm a screenwriter, director, and producer and together we created our production company called Fiction Changing the World. But let me tell you how we got here today. It all started three years ago when we got together to catch up with our lives because, well, we've been friends since high school. And Paloma was telling me all about the 2030 agenda and how excited she was about it, but also how frustrating it was that not everybody knew about it. And what she was telling me actually blew my mind. I mean, there is a plan for humanity not to become extinct, I had never heard about it. And this is something everybody should know about. This is huge for humanity, right? So, well, we kept talking about the SDGs and the more we talked, the more excited we got. And we realized that if we join our expertise, we could achieve something great. We could convey information about the 2030 agenda through films and series. It was a simple idea, but it was a much difficult task that we anticipated. <laughs> yes, it's not, it wasn't an easy task because, as I told you, people don't believe what they see in fiction. So we need a framework, something that would make people trust in the information in our movies and series. And that is the Dante movement. What is it and why it matters? Uh, first of all, and very straightforward, it's Dante movement is a movement, an audiovisual movement. So it sets away a film has to be made in order to be part of the movement. And there are three fundamental things. The first is that there is a methodology that you follow. It guides you through the process of creating a Dante production to make sure that there's a balance between entertainment and accurate data based on the biggest scientific consensus. The second is that once you follow the methodology, you get a certification. So you get a seal that will allow your audiences to know that they can trust the information. They can even pass an exam with that information. And the third is that uh, being a movement, it can be bigger than us. There are so many things that can be told through series and movies. And we really wanted to make it an open invitation for other filmmakers. Because as I told you, there are so many stories inside the 2030 agenda. And yes, because the SDGs provide us with 17 universal themes that we can get use to get inspired and create an infinite array of great, amazing stories. Also, as a screenwriter, when you're having to meet the criteria of a movement, you don't have to limit your creativity. In fact, we're asking you to be as creative as usual, mm -hmm. or even a little bit more, to find new and organic ways to introduce this information into your films and series without long, boring speeches or without overwhelming the audience uh, with information or make them, making them feel lecture. Nobody likes that. So we also believe fiction is a great vehicle to convey important information. Throughout history, humans have used tales, parables, fables to convey important information to each other. And now we have even scientific proof that we learn better when information is presented to us as a story instead of just cold data. As a partnership expert, I can tell you that this initiative is very attractive for many partnerships because it brings new stakeholders to the table. 
movies and series are super cool right now. They are a, a global phenomenon. And this is a good thing to bring people to the table, especially because you can create so many win-win situations. For some companies in the private sector, it's interesting to convey these messages and they are even willing to finance uh, movies. So this is a new resource for the industry. Uh, it can help governments to, to show their policies and it can help the civil society to spread their initiatives so they can be replicated or escalated. And the numbers couldn't be better. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because for the past few years, the demand on, uh, for fictional content has uh, grown exponentially. And this demand keeps growing, especially now with the social distancing measures. And we believe this is just a great moment to start making Dante productions. But what can you expect if you're going to make a Dante production or you're going to watch a Dante film or series? Well, you can expect to have fun, as you should when watching a film or a series. You can expect to learn about the SDGs and to learn information that would uh, allow you to make more sustainable choices regardless of where you live or what you do for a living. And hopefully it will inspire you to find your role in the 2030 agenda. And in case you're wondering about the name, why Dante Movement, I'll tell you the story. Our inspiration is Dante Alieri, who a few centuries ago did a revolutionary thing. He wrote a book, a very famous one, The Divine uh, Comedy. And he did it in Italian because he thought that Latin, that was the language that was used for writing many books in that period, uh, was a language nobody could understand. We believe that the SDGs somehow are still a little bit written in Latin and that we need a common language. Audiovisual fiction is the, is the vulgar language of the 21st century. And since we want to make a global impact, we need your help. And we would like to send an open invitation to all of you filmmakers, screenwriters, producers, artists, directors, investors, broadcasters, SVOD <laughs> platforms to join us in the Dante movement. So join us, spread the Dante movement, do your own Dante, Dante film, and let's change the world one story at a time. Thank you very much for listening. Greetings from Madrid. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.